Sometimes it's important to just sit back, give your brain a break, and just create without really thinking about it. Who said every bit of creativity had to be planned? And of course, we'll occasionally take a break to play to the beat of our own drum, even if it doesn't really match the music. It's the Lily Factor! Ding! <laughs> now lately I've had this issue that anytime I open up to a blank white abyss, there's this stress inside my hand, holding whatever drawing device I'm using, hovering over the blank white abyss. That's just what is going to appear on this paper. Ugh. It's the worst feeling one can get because that's not, that's just not how it's always been for me. It's never really been this, I have to stop and think about what I'm gonna make. It's always just kind of been, I'll get this random stroke of inspiration or I'll just open up a page and start scribbling on it and whatever happens, happens. But lately it's been like this weird mindset that everything has to be perfect. And perfectionism can be good and bad, but more often than not bad. <laughs> and it just puts this unnecessary pressure into everything you do. And sometimes it's great to just kick that perfectionism to the curb and let your brain freak out that it's not taking the reins and making everything technical. That's the point of this drawing. I had the random urge to just get out these inks I have and take this calligraphy pen and dip it in the inks and then just start drawing. So I started at the top and I just drew these random plant thingies that aren't really real plants. So sorry to any plant professionals <laughs> and just started just drawing lines everywhere. And I did plants, I did like a little cliff there. Then I started getting a little elaborate as I tend to uh, do to myself. And I drew kind of a spaceship. Granted, that's how I feel it is. If you were looking at this, you'll probably see something different. And that's the beauty of it. It's kind of, abstract compared to what I usually do. But I really enjoyed tooling around with this because I never really use any calligraphy type things for art. <laughs> and so it was interesting getting all that line variation with just, you know, one pen. And I really enjoyed like the little thing that's holding the spaceship to the ground. You see how it has like all the little squares on the side there. I had fun with that because there's so much variation I could get in like the width of the lines and it just makes it look really yeah, dimensional. I don't know. It's just, ah, I love it. So I had so much fun with this because it was all, I was getting really precise lines with the calligraphy pen and also the lines could go anywhere. It was like not limited to a pencil or to some sort of concrete idea. It was just wherever my hand wanted to go, it went and my brain was screaming at me, but my hand was like, I have the power. And so it was a great inner conflict. Granted, I know I'm saying like, I had a lot of fun with this. This was so great, blah, 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 blah. Granted, if I had done the voiceover, cause this was like drawn, I don't know how long ago now compared to when I'm doing the voiceover now. <laughs> so at that time, I'm like just in a really good mood right now. <laughs> at that time, you probably would have heard more if I had just done the voiceover while I was drawing. You would hear a lot of, oh, I hate this and this looks terrible and I don't even know what I'm looking at. I can't make out the page because everything's blue. That was just, yes, yeah, like I said, the inner conflict. Even when I finished, I granted, I. I'll admit, I just did not like it. When I was done, didn't like it. The next day I liked it. It's just, that's how it is because it was that strive for perfectionism that even when I was making it, I started to have an idea of what I wanted. And so it was that expectation that was not met, but I had to kind of kick myself in the head and say, stop it brain. I created something and I didn't really have to think about it. It just came out of me. And that was the beauty of it. Not everything has to be just so or a certain way or meet what you pictured because there's so many times I'll look back at old artwork I created and I'll remember that I did not like that artwork at all. I'll even have, you know, X's and no in all caps. I'll have this weird 
drawing of like a dude screaming at the horrific sight of the artwork. But, you know, a year later, or whatever, sometime later, I will look at that and go, I actually like that a lot more than some of the other stuff I did. <laughs> Not as an insult, but because it, I didn't like it at the time. More hammering. Oops. <laughs> Pay no mind to the hammering. Okay, this is distracting me. <laughs> at the time, I didn't... <sighs> okay, I think it temporarily stopped. But at the time, I didn't like the artwork because it didn't meet a certain expectation I had for it. But then later on, I realized I really appreciate it because it didn't meet the expectation in my brain. So often you get so used to the same ideas that your mind is always coming up with that when you don't create the same idea, you consider it a disappointment, a failure. But then you start to realize that you'll enjoy it more because it's not what you thought of. So it's different from what you're always creating, regurgitating, that you always see. So I'm learn- <sighs> Come on! So I'm learning and I'm trying to um, remind myself every time I create something and I'm not happy with it in the moment that the blessing is I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm able to create something. I had the time to sit down and draw. Not everyone can have that happen sometimes. And I'm learning something. When I get frustrated, I know it's because it's something I'm having difficulty with. Something that's teaching me something. I'm learning something new. And I have to remind myself that because it's not going the way I like it, I'm creating something different than my expectation. So then I'm trying something new. I'm creating something different from what I usually do. So that's the benefit of it. And that was the benefit of this. I have these random floating flowers, which normally if I were drawing this and I draw these cliffs behind the flowers, I would have gotten rid of the flowers because they're gonna get lost in the cliffs. But I couldn't correct that or anything. And I still kind of enjoy that the flowers are there because it's different from what I would usually do. I would try and make it a little more, make a little more sense, a little more believable. But sometimes I really enjoy the artwork that doesn't quite make sense, that you kind of tilt your head, cross your eyes, and still not sure what you're looking at. <laughs> Although, at least leave a few parts that people can understand. <laughs> Something that, oh, well, I think that's a shoe. So, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, and uh, so to the, more to the art is, more to the art, that sounds like, that should be like a saying, you know, like you hear the beginning of like a rap song or something. More to the art. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was random. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, so the fun part of these inks is I didn't really like, I haven't ever done a piece where I really like ink, you know, all, all ink for line art. You know, like I kind of did close stuff to that, but not quite like this. So it was really interesting because I didn't know how the inks were going to work, react. I don't know if I was gonna plop my hand on the page and smudge it all. <laughs> I think that only happened once, which, uh, hallelujah. More to the art. So, uh, I'm starting to get to the brink of finishing inking everything. I was a little worried because I wanted to take the same blue ink, dilute it a bit, add some shading, but I wasn't sure how all that would work, if it would get rid of it. And does that just, I mean, it's amazing what stuff does to water sometimes. <laughs> I mean, that's just like weird. But anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> Something about, but yeah, so I'll start adding, you know, diluted blue ink over there and maybe yellow. Oh yeah, because I'm putting the seal on it. So I'm going to start with yellow, <laughs> my favorite color. But I also wasn't sure if the yellow would kind of smudge the blue, so I tried to go around it, but also I realized too, because I made this mistake before, yellow and blue make green, do. So I didn't want those two to mesh and make green just yet. That is later on, green ends up happening. And I wasn't crazy about it at first, but then, then I realized I actually quite like it. So <laughs> the things that happen, I am just, I'm loving my mood today. Usually sometimes I'll do the voiceover and I'm really tired that day or something. So everything I say is so kind of like this. And uh, I kind of talk like this every now and then to uh, sound a little more interesting and not bore myself while I'm talking. 
but you know, not the greatest. <laughs> so it's really nice when I'm in a good mood because I can just do that voiceover and it sounds happy. <laughs> it sounds happy. Not trying to paint a picture here, or am I? That was random. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. I think part of the contributing factor here is this music. It's like, it's got the drums going. And it's kind of making me think of this one clip I saw of, um, oh, I'm blanking on his name, Desi Arnaz. And there was like a clip of him playing uh, some sort of bongo. I don't remember what it was called, but it was just, he was like, his hands were just going rapidly. And it, it was... I was like, my hands would be on fire if I was going that fast. <laughs> but it just sounded so good and it looked really cool. So I don't know, the music is kind of reminding me of that. But it just kind of put me in a good mood because earlier today I was just like sitting. I was like, I don't want to get up or do anything. I don't know what I want to do, but nothing sounds fun. So then I kind of pulled up this video footage I had for this art video that I also didn't really make, but it hasn't been that long compared to other videos where I was like, it's almost been a year. <laughs> Why did I say it in that voice? <laughs> See, I, I don't know. I did not have any sugar yet, so. <laughs> but it just, so like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna look at the footage. I'm gonna kind of condense it a bit. It's still not that fun to me. And then I was like, oh, I should pick the music. And so I was sorting through it and then I found this music. I was like, yes. <laughs> It literally got me up and going. But yeah, it just, it just put me in a good mood. It's towards when I start putting the yellow on the spaceship, I kind of started to realize, I was like, you know, this almost looks like a, a, some sort of recreation of, you know that fish that's like kind of yellow and blue and it's shaped kind of like that spaceship? I was like, the way I color, like picked the color scheme here, it looks like I turned that fish into a spaceship and put it underwater, but made underwater look like a planet or something. <laughs> Granted, underwater is kind of like a foreign planet to us, but yeah, it just kind of looked like that. So you'll see towards the end, it may not show that much yet, but towards the end, once everything's really blue, it starts to look kind of like that. So it was unintentional, but I think if other people saw it that way and not just me, then aha, it worked out. And, I don't know. It was, yeah, definitely. There's so many things that happen like that unintentionally that you can't plan for, your brain can't control. No matter how many times you try to control things, you can't always get it the way you want it to be. And it works out because then if everything worked exactly how we planned it, how would we get unexpected? And yeah, so also to cover more on, like I said, the whole process of this, I wasn't that exhilarated. I was kind of bored and I was like, I don't like this. Ugh. And then, like I said earlier today, I was gonna like, I don't wanna do anything. It's all mindset, people. You just, you have to redirect the brain because if you just stew on it, like if I just kept stewing, on this piece. I probably would have deleted the video footage permanently and wouldn't have made this. And I wouldn't have had such a fun time doing the voiceover. And it wouldn't have given me something to do today because I was just like, I don't wanna do anything. So mindset, it's so important to not always let yourself get discouraged. You're gonna have bummer art projects, but at the end, Later on, you're gonna look at it and go, I'm glad I was able to do that because it gave me inspiration or I actually like it now or it taught me something. It's never a waste. It's really not. And I'm so glad I did this because it taught me at the time before I made this, I hadn't really realized that I was so caught up in projects, just creating and finishing art projects. It just put me in this mindset that everything I had to make had to be some sort of project and that that is the purpose of everything I create, that it always has to be this planned and perfect and benefits in some sort of way for some sort of productivity. And it's just not a good mindset. It's That's not what creating is about. I know that there's work you have to do for art, that has to be a project and that's what I've been doing that got me in that mindset but you can't always just plan for success everything you do 
because it's not going to be fun anymore. Success is not worth boring yourself to death. <laughs> and so just as I was creating this, I started to realize I'm like, I actually am enjoying just giving myself a break from trying to plan everything that I actually filled up an entire page with color and didn't have to spend two hours planning it out and forcing myself to do it, even though I didn't really want to do it. So yeah, that's kind of the point of that. Then I start to go in with gouache paints over the ink. So I just used the blue and yellow ink for that, mix the green or mix the yellow and blue to make that green for the grass. And then I start to go in with gouache just to punch out some of those shadows. And I started to add blue onto the cliffs. Like I had that same shade of blue on other stuff, but that was okay. But when I added on the cliffs, I was like, I ruined it. And I was just, I was starting to just blob everything. Cause when I get angry, I just decide to, make it worse by putting my anger onto the page and blobbing everything. But in the end, I actually am so glad I made that mistake because I really am pleased with how it turned out. Granted, like I said, I'm not trying to make it sound like everything was peachy because it was not. At that time, I did not like it. it took the next day to start to like it a little better and then the following days to really like it and become proud of it to the point where I was even like, hey guys, look at this. So yeah, <laughs> just how that works. It's not peachy every time, but in the end, the mistakes were kind of the things I really enjoyed about this. But to conclude what I've said a million times already, very glad I ended up making this. I almost didn't make it an art video because I was like, this is just one little simple painting on a page. Is it really worth sharing a long process for? Yes, Lily, yes it is. I also go in with a little glitter gel pen, uh, punch out some of the line work a little more since they kind of got lost with the same shade of blue going over them which, you know, add a little extra pop, and if you, because it's glitter, if you see it in certain lighting, it'll sparkle. It's not gonna show here, but yeah. <laughs> so, very pleased with the turnout. It's very important to give yourself a break and let yourself just create for the fun of it and not restrict yourself to any concepts. <sighs> yeah. Very happy I ended up doing this and making the video. With that being said, here is the final product. I'd like to thank you all for watching, for listening to my ramble. And uh, I'm gonna, now it's the mystery of what am I gonna do after this? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Mindset, I'm gonna stay positive. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. May God bless you in your life and your art. Bye!